Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and I've done several videos on the artistic media tool, but I was playing around today, a little hot to be outside in Central Texas, and started looking through some really cool designs that, that are already inside of Corel that you don't have to do anything to. So I'm going to, I did these four right quick. And, I mean, it would take you a pretty good long time to draw that, you know, if you were making, or even this set of lines, and even on a curve. So we're just going to do one real quick, and I'm just going to show you how I did it. I'm going to take my three-point curve, and I'm going to make a line, and then I'm going to hold down the control button and get it kind of like a even. Then I'm going to go to the artistic media tool, and under brushes, Go to Artistic, and there's a bunch of already in Corel Draw. I mean, look at that. I don't know what you'd use that for, but you could do that. You could do that. Um, you know, once you, I mean, look at that. If you had to draw that, um, and you could play around with that, you know, look what I did just in a few seconds with one of their tools. Look at this. I mean, that's just one of these brush strokes, and I just took it, and let's zoom in here and just control D and make a duplicate of it and rotate it by that center at 45 degrees. I got the artistic media tool. I should have broken it apart. Go to range, artistic media apart. There's my original line. Delete it. You've kind of got to do that. Control D and make a duplicate. Move your rotation of that node. Rotate it 45 degrees. And my computer locks up sometimes. So I'm going to Control D. And I don't know what it is, so I'm going to go plus 45. And it's going to give me another one. Let me look at that. Now I'm going to show you how I did the star. Um, and you can make these things thicker, as, you know, if you would have wanted to before you started with them. But let's just take and get a star and put it relatively in the center. Select them both and go front minus back. And it turns it red, but you can turn them black. You can actually turn them off. Well, let's do, let's don't do that. Let's, uh, how did I do that to get that white? I'm pretty sure I took the smart fill tool and did like that. And then the spots behind there are white. Let's test that out. Yellow box trick. Fill it in with yellow and put it in the background. So that would not engrave. Or if you wanted to, if you're a printer, you know, you could uh, select those and make them blue, uh, make them green. There's a lot you could do with that. It's pretty cool. Uh, I like playing around with the artistic media tool. I mean, look at, look at that. How long would that take that you to draw that or even this? I mean, that's so easy to reproduce. Just take a Let's just do a two-point line, grab our artistic media tool and go into artistic, and there it is right there. Bam. Now, just a word of warning, go to range and break it apart and get your red line out of there. Now you could control K. Let's go, well, maybe not, maybe go ungroup all so you could see if this is a hairline or not, and you could change the thickness Let's make it a two point, see what it looks like. It's pretty big, so two points doesn't really matter. Let's go 10 points. And you could change them. Anyway, I hope that helped that a little bit. So try that out. Have a little fun. Thanks for watching.